He's got a stadium named after him. He went on to be one of the greatest, probably the greatest coach Austria has ever produced. And here today, the next edition of what they are hoping to be a rebuilding process. They have failed in the qualification, of course. Serbia. David Alaba, a world-class player in his own right, has played a more attacking role with his national team, but today he will be called on to defend. Good look at this stadium. The TIFO gone, the field clearing, and just about ready for action. It's three in the back, Dragovic, Kodl, and Hinteregger. Liner on the right, Oliver on the left, and then Baumgartlinger, the captain, keep an eye on him. The Bayer Leverkusen midfield with Marko Anonovic, rather tempestuous striker up front. That's an interesting other topic as well, Phil. Brazil will be facing a team with three at the back, as you say, and there's going to be a lot of teams at the World Cup this year that's going to go with three at the back. So... Dress rehearsal of tremendous proportions. They're always having a laugh, them two. <laughs> There's Baumgartlinger in the tiny area of Matze near Salzburg. Wearing the captain's armband. Miranda wearing the captain's band for Brazil. Victor Kasai, the referee from Hungary. 42-year-old from Tabania. 
He refed the 2011 Champions League final. Also was the referee at Brazil's match against North Korea back in World Cup 2010. And for a match the U.S. would have liked to have forgotten against Ghana. Here's Brazil's starting lineup and starting to get the feeling that Tite has an idea of what his 11 will be. But Roberto Firmino not in the lineup here today. Neymar will start in somewhat of a 4-4-2. And there are the benches. As you mentioned, Ray, you hear about groups of death, and we can get into the particulars a little bit later, but Austria, I guess, was a group of competence that led to their death. There were four teams that were fighting for two spots, and they ended up on the outside looking in. For Brazil, off to a horrible start in World Cup qualifying, but the Isle of T-Tip, and they have never looked back. Well, you're right, Phil. Austrian... And we are underway. The ball rolled all the way back to Quotal. Austria in the red and white. The familiar yellow and blue of Brazil attacking from the left. Phil Shane alongside Ray Hudson on an 80-degree day in Vienna. But Brazil might make it even hotter. Nicely. Heinz Lindner showing some footwork. Heinz showing his... 57 flavors there absolutely beautiful the Brazilian fans will applaud that and out of it showing his foot skills here think of him like an Austrian Ibrahimovic with a little more attitude easy Phil easy maybe not the nose ball driven back talking about this in the pregame just how difficult it was for Austria grouped with Serbia, Ireland, and Wales. They did have the Minos, Georgia, and Moldova, but it was a four-way race for the top two spots. Yeah, but I'll just show you that this team that finished behind Serbia, Serbia was so impressive in their performances after a little bit of a dodgy start in the first game playing a 2-2 draw against Republic of Ireland, but then after that, they really started to get it together, and that Serbian team is the team Brazil will face last in their qualification. So it's a good group. Thiago Silva a little woozy from that cross from Alaba. Here he comes again. The Bayern man to the near post. Deflected but not controlled. Neymar tries to thread it out but stepping up to win it back. Austria. Grilich. To Portal. The veteran now at Watford got his start at Sturm Graz. This team, as we said, has been in scintillating form, and I'm not talking about the Canarinos. Lads in red have been very impressive, but this is their biggest test in their rebuilding process to get back. Of course, they've got the European tournament coming up, so this coach, Franco Forda, is looking in an experimental way, but this is the team that they're going to probably go with in the new European competition that's right round the corner after the World Cup. But they've never faced a dynamic like they're going to face today. And he, of course, is the Kuanua Diamond. The great Neymar takes a bit of a rattle here, but it isn't on his foot. It's a little higher up, so he should be bouncing back. Not going to be playing the whole game, TT has already said, again, the feet continue to dance. So they got swept out from under him. <laughs> Hooked away on that play by Schopf. In some ways, it was nice to see him get on the scoreboard in the last match, Ray. But I have a feeling for TT, it was more getting hit and getting back up that was the concern. That's right, against Croatia, his team. Faced a very good Croatian team in my book. A lot of people disagree, that's okay. But I thought Croatia, one of the most energetic, high-pressing teams and created a number of opportunities where they should have, could have, would have 
went ahead against Brazil. Neymar came on, and that was at a point where Croatia had pulled off a lot of their star players, and the goal from Neymar was typical stardust football and an emphatic slingshot finish. Renatovic with a nice bit of footwork, dances through the midfield. Marco waiting, no polo. William comes back to get it. Nice little advancing run from Grilich. Down goes Gabriel Jesus, won back by Austria. And as we saw yesterday, even some of these non-qualifying minnows, in some ways this is their World Cup. Chance to get a little bit of a bragging right. United States did so against France with a 1-1 draw. Alaba threads it forward. Cutting back Schlager. Dispossessed William. And it overstayed. What a good job and good impression. And lovely football that from Brazil. And switch to Marcelo. And look at the space behind them. It's like two yards, and they'll play three passes in that confined area. And this is where it leads to beautiful magic. Austria trying to pin them back, but now Brazil escapes. Jesus wide for William. Austria scrambling back quickly. Is three in the back with Dragovic and Hinteregger surrounding Prodl. Well, they do have the speed and liner and Alava down the wings. I said there'll be a lot of teams going with three at the back for in this upcoming World Cup. And that is another good rehearsal for the Canarino to see what they can counter that with. It will be playing with their four at the back. Dragovic almost Not many teams that have went with three at the back that actually won a World Cup, though, Phil. You've got to go back to the West Germany days. And they played with a sort of three at the back, so it's very adventurous, but you can just imagine three at the back against the legs of him. Yeah, Dyson with death. And right. that is amplified by the Liverpool when they played against Roma. The three at the back got outdone by Liverpool's magic from three. Austria fleet of foot, getting rid of it, chipped over Schlager though. Reclaimed by Brazil with the three in the back or five if you will. Yeah, especially with two holding midfielders in Baumgartlinger and Grilich It's to be disruptive though. Sure And you know, you've got to play within that bit, but there's situations where the likes of Roma showed out how Adventurous they can be coming out of three at the back. So it all depends For me it all depends on the individual players the talent no matter what formation you'll put up you try to fit the formation in and fit that, but when you've got players like this team in yellow have, and not just on the field, but on the bench, good luck. Deserve it favourites in the World Cup, but can they win like they did against Sweden back in the Pelé days on foreign soil? It's the last team to do it from South America. Look out. William to the inside, Casamiro! to the post. Lovely setup from William. Here's Casemiro calling for it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. How do you say that in Brazil, Phil? Wonderful strike. Just clips the outside of the netting with the final curve. Good vision from William. There's the spot. There's the delivery. There's a red hot crack. Unlucky from the Real Madrid European champion. Casemiro. Yeah, it's hard to believe to he's just 26 year old coming over from the great Sao Paulo. But it seems as if he's been around a long time. Back to the near side, William. Nicely. Just gets to him, but dispossessed. All the way back and Hintenheimer over. Launches it long, but Arnautovic off too early. A good step up both from Miranda and Thiago Silva recognizing as soon as the ball gets in possession right here you'll see they're holding the ground and it's very very close but again this is what these games are made for it's being looked at certainly from this wonderful coach Adinor Leonardo Bacchi 
that are known as Chiche. You think about it from Austria. Arnautovic now 29. Alaba is still relatively young. He's 25, but generations have gone past since Austria was last in a World Cup back in 1998. Anyways, you have to go back 20 years earlier when they were actually challenging back in the days of Hansi Krankel and company. You loved Krankel, didn't you? You loved him. He was up there. Ah, you loved him, nah, Phil. Bruno, you uh, loved him. More of a Bruno Pets, like I guess. Hamlet loved his mama. All the way back, Allison looks one way, passes the other. Well, in some ways, this team may be as talented as those, but they still have to find that winning edge. They thought they had it in the last Euros, only to crumble in the knockout stage. Speaking of crumbling, down goes Coutinho. Soon to be 26 on Tuesday, lighting the candles before the World Cup tournament gets underway. Did not look as though Lindner had a chance to get there if that was on goal. Brazil defense as well held up nicely against Croatia. We were relying on Allison a couple of times, who wasn't particularly sharp in that game, I felt. Spilled one or two from the Croatians, but again, clean sheet against the team. Phil, I watched that game in Temple and we played it again the next day. Croatia, man. It's a team that could be a dark horse. Just got away from Alaba. Casemiro slams it upfield. Meanwhile, for Brazil, just that one loss, a friendly. Since Chite took over. That's amazing. Say that again, Phil. Just one defeat when Chite stepped in in June 20th of 2016. They've won 16 and drawn three. It's been absolutely brilliant. He's the complete diametrical opposite of the man he replaced in Dunga. He's a little bit of touch of Harry in the night. He communicates with his players. He communicates with the press. And... Tactically, he's as bendy as an elastic band. Look out. Chance now in the middle. Arnautovic in a pocket of five. He holds off Casemiro. Nah. Threads it forward, but the run never came from Shaw. You need to be sprinting out like Carl Lewis there to get that one. Told Just it. Ibra with attitude. Lovely turn. Ibrahimovic never plays a ball like that. Off to the near side. Even his passes Wilson. down to a mate run. Hey, boys, like that. So many wonderful players, of course, missing at the World Cup. We'll talk about that in a while. Look out. Trailing run, Neymar. And he doesn't find him. Gabi Jesus across, headed back to the middle. Maybe a little too unselfish for Paulinho. A well spotted, Phil. It was Neymar that needed that ball, pulled back to him. Held in a wonderful little pocket of space, but not able to be found. I want to touch on something you mentioned about Tite, and we were talking so much about the past. Austria with plenty of it, going back to the paper man. Mati Sindelar, back in the 20s. Tragic end to his life, but... You look at what's been going on with Brazil in recent years. And it looked as though Jogo Bonito was dead. But credit to Tite, he's brought it back. And picking up a nation, Phil, after Minarezo, there they lost that game so tragically against Germany in that 7-1 hammering. Ever felt the wounds of football's cruelty than Brazil did on that wicked afternoon? Transfer Brazil to get a bit of revenge. In fact, that is a possible final. Oh. Neymar with the heel oh. kick, and then it gets stuck on the heels. A little spin from Grilich, but dispossessed. Into the area, knocked down at the edge. No, says Kasai. Well, it'll be a throw-in for Brazil. 
lovely ball from Coutinho. Beautiful turn and invention. Here's the robbery right here through the legs. Coutinho it could be called a foul. Does he come through the player before he gets the ball? That could have also been a foul against Dragovic. There you go. So tit for tat. Stepping in, Paulinho keeps it alive. Neymar kissed Beautiful. off Williams. Back to Neymar into the area, trickles through, and Lindner pounces. You lucky people with your fancy schmancy machines. Hit that replay button. Enjoy it again. Wonderful. One touch football is perfection. And this one comes down close. Then it comes to the magic man with that. Iconic number 10 shirt. You've got to be a good player to wear the 10 for Brazil. And you've got one in the great Neymar. I think Titi there, a little upset that Neymar didn't perhaps step through with a good red hot crack at goal after that wonderful build up. Felt as if he could dance his way through. I think back to Brazil, Zagallo. Before he became the assistant to Carlos Alberto Paeda. Pretty good manager in his own right. Tele Santana maybe the most successful in that golden age. Touched into the middle. Schlager pulls it back. Dropped back to Baumgartlinger. Lifts it in towards the corner, but the run never came. It had gotten to the point where even just winning was good enough for Brazil. You think about that 90-14. And it was the antithesis of the beautiful game, but yeah. they won. And it seemed as though if you even talk to the Brazilian fans, well, you know, it's not possible in the modern game to play attractive football anymore. So they went through the Luxembourgos, the Leaos, the Felipaos, Dunga, as you mentioned. But then Tite, well, he believed. Done it with Otimao Corinthians. And now even on a bigger stage. Sadly, no Dani Alves for Brazil. Edo coming in, but he ain't no Dani Alves, that's for sure. Yeah, that for lose Alves. a little bit more in the attacking prowess for sure in a big way. Defensively, they may be a little stronger, but you gotta take. PSG man any day but this man on the ball going to be tested he's done well since stepping in here of course yeah. you have to remember was a role player a bit player at Manchester City this season well, it was that way for Real Madrid as well they did bring in the youngster Fagner well not youngster 28 but the newcomer Fagner Good player for me. it looks like he's going to be in a supplementary role Here's Marcelo. Hey. Seen there, Phil. This is the type of the, these last game friendlies are the ones that the coaches are a little bit more concerned about. The game, the World Cup starting next week, and the threat of injuries is going to be there. A nice game like you. this, that they've got to go out and work hard against a very, very tenacious and well-organized red team. Shot from distance, but he slips as he shoots, and Linder able to deny Neymar. Brazilians, man, wants to see those whites of the goalposts. It's cabaret time. He's Lisa Minnelli. Control back for Dragovic. And last year on loan at Leicester. 27 year old Vienna native. Well decoyed, well delivered. Short out wide. Touch back to the middle, but behind the run. Austria wins it back. Baumgartlinger, the pirouette. Tucked back in for the Bayer Leverkusen man, upended, but he will win the corner. Working hard to create any sort of opening. Austria, and this is good defending. Ball played in, and then right there, wrapped up in cellophane from Miranda. Just a little bit of a push from Leiter. Well, 
This one will swing in towards Allison. Alava drops it in. Out comes the Roma keeper. Could have grabbed it, but punches on the volley. But wide. Shop. Shop, the man steps through this one and hopes for a Brazilian type goal. Allison comes out, fists of fury. Looked as if it could have been saved within his hands. It's not a bad effort in terms of his technique. Two degrees of separation again. Nice sure. ball. Good lead this. Neymar slides through two, cutting over his portal to take him down. So quick. So, yeah, he's right. It's going to happen. On and on and on. Great players live with it. Of course, Pelé in the 1966 World Cup, where the rules were a lot different in them days. He was macheted from all the teams the great Pelé played and ended up having to get carried off. The game's changed, it's been cleaned up, but his element's still there. Ball rattles around, Grilich comes away with it, leaves for Arnautovic. Fast feed for Hinteregger and out wide for Alaba. Alaba drops it in, skips away from Arnautovic and right on the goal line, shot again, but he could not get there. Arnautovic, it's the one that's most upset with this, and he should be. It's a beautiful ball played in. Take a look at this. He sees the run. The pass is exquisite right into his area. And just that little touch from Silva takes it away from Anatovic. And that's a tremendous ball from Alaba. Marco's going to want to get another crack. He might not. Here they come again up the middle. Village dishes wide. Best stretch here from Austria. Alaba back post. Marcelo with the deflection for the throw. Slaps this one in a little bit lazy for me. That's a criticism of the highest order. Alaba needed to pick out Anatovic there. A little bit hit and hope. Wide. Haven't really talked about it, but back it is. More natural left back spot. Miranda drops it in. Liner wants it back, gets it back. Arnautovic, but it deflects up and over. Lovely build up. The finish again isn't what he wanted. And it's not down to the defense this time, it's down to his poor technique in the end. The West Ham man calls for it and he just shanks it drives it down it's a hopping ball to be fair to him when it's pulled back right there had it been played red carpet pass and he knows it wonderful this german international in his day only played twice for west germany but what a job he's doing this is a wonderfully reshaped austrian side phil stepped in it is beloved sturm graz did so well. Austria figured, why not give it a try? Looks like Hitler has a few man words. For a majority of his uh, playing career, wasn't he? Played for other teams as well, but he was a Leverkusen man predominantly. This new coach, Franco Forda. Beautiful. Driving in, just trickles behind Jesus, no problem uh, for Lindner. I think Neymar want a more direct run there from Jesus. Standing up, a little static, facing Neymar as he was running at him. Neymar looking for that elusive run into the box. It didn't come. Nogovic harassing Casemiro, who retreats. Talk about Leverkusen. He closed his career at Sturm Graz, which is where he started his managerial career. And in fact, that's when Proto moved up from the youth system to the first team in Graz. And so Foda relying on his former young phenom to be the anchor at the back for this new Usterheim. And this Brazilian team played against England. It was a three-man back that England performed with that day, Phil. Chiche admitted that that 
is his biggest worry, his biggest headache. His strategy hasn't been able to unlock a back three, which is somewhat surprising given the talent up front and in that midfield for Brazil, especially with the wing backs like this man. But it's continuing to prove frustrating so far in this game. Marcelo's cross deflected away right back into the midfield. Uh, you look at the teams that they will be facing. Switzerland, which can go back three, but tends to be a little more stayed. Absolutely. Costa Rica does play with a back three. That's right. Oh! Just wide by Lindner. Wow, oh, beautiful razzle-dazzle from Cool Team Yo. Again, Brazilians, man. Weights of the goalposts. Red hot crack. Beautifully directed. Doesn't quite get the pop off it. But it's a beautiful bouncing ball, and that's a good save by Heinz. Well, plays in Switzerland for Grasshopper, and he needed to be a Grasshopper that time. 20 minutes left, opening half. Been saving that one, haven't you? Out wide for William. To the 18 he goes, staying with them is Schlager. Oh. Under pressure, Neymar makes it disappear. Chipped back too high by Paulinho. Here's Jesus. Continues to get the call in front of Firmino. And it looks like that will be the case, at least at the start of the World Cup. Talked about Neymar providing a spark as Schlager steals it away. It's a two-man break. Well covered again from Canarino. Arnautovic. Body down, draws the foul against Casemiro. coming in and he not raised his arms there he may have been able to body check shoulder to shoulder for a ball that was just out of an Artovic's range this is dangerous Alaba has delivered some wonderful pixel perfect passes into the area he's got a lovely invading area for these Austrians to take flight Interager playing the target man in front of the charge. Here comes Alaba. The ball drives it in. A diving header. A little bit more height on it there from Alaba. That would have been the medicine. Lindner. No goals. Tremendous cracking game. There's a bit of a World Cup air to it, which is what Chite wanted. Down goes Neymar. Be nice to get a goal or two. Be nice to get a win, but Tite wants to, more than anything, avoid an injury. It's that rhythm, wants that confidence in Neymar. I want a little bit. Well, this is a concern down at the other end, Allison. Now, they do have. A rather good goalkeeper in his own right, the 24-year-old Anderson, who was phenomenal at Manchester City this year, but just one cap. He's the backup here today. Allison earning his 26th cap. The heir apparent in goal. Doesn't Looks look like to be anything be too okay, serious. Though. It's nothing to be overly concerned about. He's already told the referee. Okay, just need to be given a little bit of a look here. It's all right. Maybe just a little twinge. And again, don't you don't want to exactly get injured. Where that took place, either maybe he came down on it with a little roll of the ankle, and sometimes that can be just a little, as you say, Phil, just a twinge. Just done the right thing. Still feeling it a bit. This will be a sign as they will let him put this into play. Just like with Germany, where you have a Ter Stegen 
backing up a Neuer. It's nice to have Anderson available if something does happen to Allison. Getting to the 30th minute. Sixty four percent possession for Brazil, but each team with three shots. Oh, flipped down that line. Liner wanted to have it go, but it's cleared away for the throw. His first cap, isn't it, for Lena? Seventh. Oh, excuse me. Late bloomer, though. Twenty five year old from Salzburg. Carried free. Baumgartlinger lets it run. Interager, Alava. Touched back by Schlager, but he was impeded. Another Salzburg man. Good turn. Baumgartlinger. Oh. I don't know if had he been brave enough to play that's another sweet pass. Shot. Alava. Headed down, still in danger. Bounces off Danilo. Won by Schlager, but they're going to say he fouled to get it. Now Danilo really costs his team here. Shows way too much of the ball to Schlager. And the youngster, 20 year old, as you said, Phil, steps through. He has a little bit of a hiccup in its side, right on the top of his foot. No intention. Unfortunately, Danilo feels a cleat through those gloves that they wear. Being clean out with his first touch, though. Alaba takes a little weight off. Schlager thought Arnautovic would already be upfield. The stadium opened way back in 1931, and you can still see some of the remnants, the track still surrounding it, but a lot of it's been upgraded. Chance. Arnautovic tries to sneak it in. Casemiro back, senses the pressure, and smartly plays the deflection for the goal kick. Marcelo seen he was impeded there. It's a sure. Austria step in and dispossess the Real Madrid lad. Austria certainly showing enough of their teeth in the attack. They need to be a lot more clinical with their final pass, their final attempt towards Allison's goal. But so far, so good for Austria. Their next competitive action will be nicely as Gabriel Jesus goes wide for Paulinho. I haven't seen much of the Brazilian mid today. William wants it back, stepping in Prodel. Now it's Paulinho. Whips it across. Portal again. A better run there by Jesus. Interact. Slippery run into the area. And Paulinho trying to find him with that square ball. And there you see him. Jesus seeing great ball, pal. Chance at the edge of the 18 going wide, but Marcelo, but he wins it back, tries to drive it across, and Dragovic with a sweeping tackle. Tremendous positioning from Alexander. Leicester City man just coming up, reading it with his body one way, and stretching it. This is beautiful football. The first pass out of the back from Miranda was. A line breaker, then Marcelo comes back and there's that reach with his body and the extension of his legs the other way by Alexander Dragovic. Neymar from the corner. Near yeah. post header, but Silva can't turn it in. <sighs> oh, he's usually pretty immaculate with these types of headers. Knows just how much, yeah, he kind of believed this one. It's not an easy header, but more often than not, PSG man, 
can take that flight and the spin into consideration and just glance it towards target. Difficult header, though. Into the center, nice pirouette from Alessandro Schopf. Arnautovic again, dropping back to the midfield. Alaba, Arnautovic, Alaba, Arnautovic, Alaba, but it's just too far afield. Nice layoff in the middle, Coutinho, up Beautiful forward, football. Paulinho. Good change of feet. Gabriel Jesus, wide right. Got targets. Sees Neymar, finds Neymar. Double team, down he goes in the box, loose. Shot, deflects and rolls just wide. Paulinho inches away. Magical football from the Canarino here. And I hope we don't just see the final pass because way before this, it was scintillating football before it even got to Jesus's feet. Neymar tries to dance his way through a corral of players and it falls to the Barcelona man who sees his good effort denied by Haynes. But that was brilliant football from way back from Brazil. Brilliant. Knocked away by Hinterreiger. Back for Marcelo from distance. Trickles wide. Onside. Gabriel Jesus. And he's cracked the dam. Clinical and surgical. There's a surgeon, surgeon scalpel here. They pounce on opportunity and they milk that cow dry this is a beautiful finish from the man city lad it's a wonderful control the red hot spank and then fortunately it falls to him there's a big question of an offside here but who does it come off let's take a look and let's see from that angle but he controls it beautifully and that is absolutely perfection he forces his skill over the ball here, and that is just the vein. Take another look. He is offside by about four yards at the time of that shot. And as it deflects in, the flag stays down. Oscar Lehmann, the Hungarian assistant on the near side. Now it will count here, but with video review, in the World Cup, it wouldn't. Kind of interesting. Victor Kasai, by the way, a little bit of video review history. The first referee to go to the tape and call a penalty. That was back in the Club World Cup 2016, but not today. Well, wonderful storytelling, Phil. And can we talk about the piece of magic on the finishing, please? Because that should be applauded with thunderous bleeding hands that was a tough angle for jesus to identify and he sees his goalkeeper thinking i've got the angle covered but jesus bends light with this beautiful caress into the side netting beautifully delivered goal like you said question marks about the legitimacy of the strike with the offside rule and you're right phil the far thing is going to throw up a lot of controversy and shop telling him he should have went to the ref and said, no, I was offside. It's easy, yeah, right. Just leaving it in a bit. Maybe a message sent, but the referee sends one of his own. 24-year-old from Schalke. What a story they were this year from Neymar there and he's seen it throughout all of his career you know it's a contact game in the old days he'd stand up to that and Neymar elevates himself basically and he's sensing that contact and makes it look like it's a more severe than it was all, all the way across but just behind now take another look as this ball goes out for an Austria throw. Go back to the goal from the time of Marcelo's shot. Now you take a look at the assistant on the near side and he was not in line with the defender and seemed to be shielded by William. For sure. And it comes off Paulinho. And again, if you are an assistant, 
You can only call what you see. Oh, that ball. That's a beautiful goal. Absolutely takes the length of Linda's fingernails into account and the planets and the moon and sends it lovingly. Oh. That was a Ronaldinho type of goal and I, I kind of give a higher lauding and admiration of it. Tenth goal in just 17 games for the young Gabriel Jesus. Can we talk about some of the great Brazil players of the past? Can we, Phil? I think we might be able to. Ronaldinho, one of them. Ronaldo, Romario, Zico, Socrates. Chance up the middle, met by Coutinho, but down Linder again. Fourth this save. One's all power with no direction a bouncing ball lovely feed this that's immaculate from Jesus sees his direction locks his focus on it beautiful little dished off header but Coutinho just cannot find the angle and use the uprights of the goalpost as his reference point and it's easy pickings for Heinz Linder when you talk about Brazil, Ray, and especially around the World Cup, you have to talk about Pelé. Oh, forgot about Pelé. 77 goals officially for the national team. Neymar now at 54, and Neymar is still just 26 years of age. Half remember, his career in front of him. Remember playing against Pelé, and he played for the Cosmos, and they beat us 3 0. Pelé had an absolute nightmare that day. And scored a hat trick. Slotted in Gabriel Jesus, yeah. bodied away by Prodel. There is no ball in the China shop on this Brazil side. Talk about a heavy shirt. There's none in all of world football heavier than that yellow shirt. When you talk about the legs of Socrates and Zico and on and on, Jason. Especially with the number nine and the number ten on the back. I can keep going through all the numbers, Phil. You really can. They all have legends to live up to their past. Carlos Alberto. One of my favorites. Wonderful, yeah. Zico. Yep. I think I mentioned Zico. All the way out far side. Chesinho was one of my early favorites. And that run to set up the great header from Pelé in Mexico's 1970 World Cup. And another one of my teammates, Gordon Banks, says to Pelé, nah -ah. what a save that was. Eh? You wonder, because arguably what should have been the greatest World Cup of Pelé's career was the one in which he played the least. 62, scored maybe the goal of his career, and then was kicked out of the cup, as you pointed out. was back in the days where the defenders could literally paint a target on your back sure and your ankles 66 was no different hacked down it's the only way to stop them and in those days you could get away with a lot of it but it was brutal the treatment Pelier got in that World Cup in England you think about Neymar now in some ways did he get Shinkarincha? You did not, but I know Wilf would have. Oh, what a player. God's favorite player, if I recall. People criticize Neymar for, for lack of a better word, flopping. In some ways, it's a defense mechanism. Draw the referee's attention, try and get a little extra protection. But you wonder, would Neymar have survived back in the 50s and 60s? Or is he just the perfect talent for the for the perfect time? William. Good feet. Beautifully. Look at the way they get out of jail, man. When you press onto them, it's gonna, gonna need all of that. There's another emerging trait of modern football is the press. And you'll probably see. There's much of that at this World Cup coming through, but if you play through the press, 
man, it opens up a whole kaleidoscope of options if you've got the players. This team in yellow do. And they love up to all that expectation. It's not going to be easy in that group. Switzerland first, then Costa Rica with Kilo in Serbia. The last game. Miranda. Again, calm under pressure. What a ball. What a right beautiful pass. Nicely. Dances around the challenge in the midfield. Oh. Scoops it forward. Gabriel Jesus just clatters into the back of the Austrian defender. Interegger down. Scintillating football again. Hologram football from Coutinho. <laughs> he is a hologram. Look at this for a pass as well. Brazil! Wonderful in its failure. All the passing lanes shut off in the three dimensions but not in the Brazilian fourth dimension. They can dip in and all that everything. Unlucky. Nice play. Play it again. Shop. Just the one minute added out wide for Oliver. One nothing. The goal for Gabriel Jesus on what appeared to be a clear offside, but entertaining first half and maybe an equalizer. Oh. Arnautovic, but he couldn't bring it under control. Again, he's been unlucky here. And he curses death heaven with his bootless cries. Lovely ball over the top from Dragovic. And right there, could he have just swing? With that right foot, here's a lovely look at this brilliant pass from Alexander. Silva, a little push, but you're not going to get that call. Right. Just enough to get in the contact. One man nothing man, at the half. But this is a wonderful pass and nearly the equaliser. In a game that's been full of good tension, great dress rehearsal for Brazil. And that man's finish, despite that it might have been offside, probably was magic.